Are you having trouble finding scarabs to get twinkling shells? Or the scarabs are just too fast and burrowing away? Well, don't worry. In this video, I'm going to show you the best spot to locate scarabs to get twinkling shells. And the scarabs will not be able to burrow away. So thanks for tuning in. This is the life of a gamer. Now, scarabs are very small bugs, but you will see their shell twinkle when you approach them. Now, scarabs will run away from you once it notices you. They will keep running away from you, but then eventually burrow away if they are on soil. Now, if the scarabs are not on soil, but are on like a rock or a pipe, then the scarabs will not be able to burrow away. So first, checking out the resource surveyor and searching twinkling shells. The twinkling shells are located on the northwest side of the map. Now, you'll see that there are four twinkling shells highlighted in the undershed. This will be the best and easiest spot to get the twinkling shells. Okay, so now let's head to the undershed and hunt the scarabs. Okay, so I'm right outside the entrance of the undershed. So pulling up the map, I'm located right here. And here's the undershed entrance. And I'll be heading over to the scarabs over here. Okay, so first let's head to the undershed entrance. And then continue the path I am going. Okay, so once you're in this area, hop down and follow this black electrical cable going straight. Now keep going straight here till you see this wooden plank. Then you want to go up this wooden plank. Once on top, you will see a field station here. You want to hop on this pipe strap clamp here, and then hop on this metal conduit up here and run this way. Jump over this nail and you will see some lint in this area. You can pull out a tier 3 axe and harvest the lint, or you can just jump over the lint and continue the path on the metal conduit. But let's go ahead and grab some lint since we are here. No, a piece of lint fell. Okay, then go ahead and continue along the path of the metal conduit. Now once you're here, and if you have a dandelion tuft, you can just jump and glide to the other metal conduit on the other side. Or if you don't have a dandelion tuft, then you need to jump on this nail first, and then jump on the metal conduit on the other side. But since I have a dandelion tuft, let's go ahead and glide right on over. Then keep on continuing this way till you see this pipe with a coin sticking out of the opening. You want to head in there. So go ahead and jump here and land on this coin. And in this pipe, you will find four scarabs that cannot burrow away. There will also be some dust mites in this area. I'm just going to get rid of them because they will be in the way. So here's the first scarab. Here's another dust mite to kill. Here is the second and third scarab. And lastly, here is the fourth scarab. And pulling up the map, I'm at the location of the four scarabs in the undershed. Now let's kill the scarabs and collect the twinkling shells. Now harvesting scarabs can net you 2 to 3 twinkling shells per scarab. Okay, so let's kill the rest of the scarabs. Now on this run, I was able to get 8 twinkling shells. And here's the fastest path out of the undershed from this location.
Now I'm back at the entrance of the undershed. Okay, so checking out my backpack. This is how many twinkling shells I have farmed so far. Now scarabs respawn within three to four days. So if you need more twinkling shells, check the resource surveyor to see if the scarabs responded in the undershed. Okay, so thanks for checking out this video on the best twinkling shells farm location. More tips, tricks, and tutorials to come, so stay tuned. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you enjoyed it, sub your side to see what's next. But of course, go out there, keep grinding, and always stay grounded.